Hey guys, how's it going? Hi Yolo with another beer video. Um, today I got a six point beer, Barrel Age Four Beans. Not sure if I've ever done six point in this channel before. I've definitely had a few six point beers before. I just don't remember if I've done any uh, videos of them. Uh, but this is Barrel Age Four Beans, 11% ABV, Barrel Age Porter with cocoa husk. I almost say nibs, uh, cocoa husks. So basically just the shells uh, of uh, cocoa beans coffee and Madagascar vanilla. Um, the cool thing about this is it comes in like a 12 ounce can and I've had this before, this exact beer before. A few months ago, I believe, uh, when a friend brought over a four pack, these come in a four pack. If you're, uh, if you're not aware of that, they come in like a cardboard um, box of four. And uh, yeah, it's basically just a Red Bull size can, but beer. Um, and on the bottom here, it was canned on November 8th, 8, 2018. And that's the best buy date as well because, um, I'll go into that in a sec. That's the best buy date of November uh, 7th, 2021. There's that right there. Um, it has the best buy date because, let's see here, uh, somewhere on here it says that, um, there we go. Four beans is ready to drink now, but also ages beautifully. It will mature and evolve for years. So that's why there's a uh, best buy date there. And then, you know, you can go ahead and read all that if you want. I read it at some point uh, in time. I just don't remember what it says there. But uh, yeah, it's a porter. I thought it was a stout at first and I drank it. I was like, holy crap, this is like very porter-like. It's thin. It's it's what I remember. It's thin. There's a lot of coffee, etc., etc. Everything that makes, you know, a porter, a porter, a stout, a stout, which they're basically the same or very close to being the same. Anyways, let's get this into a glass can. See what it looks like, smells like, and tastes like. There we go. It's trying real hard not to get beer everywhere. Uh, I will end this glass here. I've only used it maybe a handful of times. I totally forgot I had this. Um, that one time Rogue sent me a bunch of beer and this glass. Shout out to them, man. Rogue. I think they make solid beers. Nothing extraordinary, but you know, it's solid nonetheless. Uh, poured with about two fingers of head. Very nice, frothy, fro foamy, a mixture of all sizes of bubbles there. Um, it is lighter mocha, uh, I wouldn't say khaki, but definitely lighter mocha. Um, chop like very, I wouldn't say, yeah, I wouldn't say milk chocolate. It's lighter than milk chocolate. I guess it's somewhat khaki. Um, it's kind of sand color, I suppose. Um, but yeah, very frothy, very appetizing looking head. Um, just regular old head but it is definitely it's still retaining it retains it's still about two fingers of head man i mean dissipating a little bit but it's still there it's nice uh putting it to the light it is not as dark as i thought it was before um it is definitely like a very dark beer obviously but putting it to the light man it's this red um coppery color i guess like a very 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 dark copper if um if that makes any sense, but it's definitely red. It's like my very, very deep and dark mahogany. Just towards the bottom of the glass here. Up here, it is definitely dark. Like it's black, can't see through it. Can't, there's no red up there. Uh, let's get the aroma. Oh yeah, you get that um, spicy cocoa note there. A lot of like, I don't even know, like paprika, I suppose. <sighs> ah, I think one of my nostrils aren't working. Oh yeah, there we go. Again, the vanilla sweetness coming through here. And this glass, I like this glass a lot. I just don't like washing it because it is incredibly thin. I can't really tell in the camera, but it is extremely thin. It's scary to wash. Yeah, definitely that uh, cocoa, the spicy uh, paprika note, and sweet vanilla is definitely coming through on this, man. It smells even better than it did last time. Definitely milk chocolate. I'm getting some milk chocolate, which is lovely. Dark chocolate, of course. And every time I swirl it, that vanilla is coming through real, real nice, man. It almost smells mapley, but it's not, I guess. It's like, like, you know, it's not maple because it's like, it's not like a punch in the face kind of sweetness. Like it doesn't smell syrupy, I guess. It's just, it kind of does, but it kind of doesn't. I'm not sure if that made had. I don't, I'm not sure if that made any sense at all. But it kind of does smell like, like a like a syrup. But it's but you can tell it's not maple syrup. It's like if anything, it's vanilla syrup. There we go. That's what I was trying to say. Oh yeah. 
milk chocolate and that vanilla is coming through real nice like they're they're, they're making this very 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 pleasant uh smell here all right i'm done sniffing this man that's basically all i'm getting like the spiciness of paprika i'm saying paprika because i'm not sure how else to describe it um it is not super spicy smelling but you do get that you get the uh cocoa you get dark chocolate you get milk chocolate you get vanilla um and that kind of forms like this syrupy smell but anyways get the flavor man cheers It's a little thicker than than I remember. That wonderful, thank you. All right, so first off, you get that huge cocoa, dark chocolate flavor, just kind of you know swimming around on your palate. Um, it's not overwhelming, like it's not like a huge, huge dark chocolate flavor where it's kind of bitter. Um, you do get that roasty bitterness though from. Uh, let's like from the uh, coffee I'm assuming um, a lot of coffee stouts have that like um, bitterness that coffee bean bitterness so you have that but then it gets rounded off with that vanilla really really nicely man mouthfeel is actually a little thicker than I remember uh, I, really, I thought it was gonna be like a water consistency, but it's definitely at least, I'm gonna say at least half a step up, maybe a whole step up from that. Um, very pleasant, man. It's not, velvety, it's not silky. I kind of wish it was, but then, you know, being a porter, I don't remember having a porter that's like velvety, you know, just that texture that you usually get from a stout. I haven't really had a porter. I'm sure I have at one point in time, I just don't remember, but they're very rare. Um, I haven't came across a ton of them, which is why I, uh, I'm saying I haven't, but I'm sure I have at least once. Um, I'm, there are definitely good porters out there. Uh, they're not just, they're not all stouts, um, but there's a lot more better stouts in my opinion than there are porters. Like there's just a whole lot more stouts than porters in general, I feel like. Just like how there's a crap ton more IPAs and basically any style of beer out there. I'm just smelling it again because I'm trying to get that uh, maple, vanilla, syrup smell again. It smells damn good. Yeah, at first, like, it's just cocoa, dark chocolate, and then it fades out into this nice... Um, right before that actually you get the uh, coffee bean bitterness and slight tartness like you ever drink coffee like just straight black coffee like better artisan coffee or whatever and some of them have that like acid acidity to them um, where they're slightly tart you definitely get a touch of that in here too so there's some tartness but like it's not like a bad tartness I guess it's you associate that with coffee um, that's how I get it at least that's how I'm, I'm tasting it and then it smooths out into that vanilla and that slight coffee bitterness. It's it's mad good. I'm gonna say this this is and it sits I see this all the time. Like this is not hard to come by and I think six points reasonably priced too. For this, I bet you for a four pack it was like fifteen bucks probably. Yeah, probably I didn't buy it. I'm just guessing it's like 15 bucks, but 50 bucks for four cans at 11 ABV. Granted, they're 12 ounces each, but still, that's pretty solid, man. You drink two of these, you'd be feeling pretty good. Um, and it's a quality, like it's a quality beer. I feel like it's a good quality beer. Um, there's a lot worse things out there you can be drinking. But yeah, man, just a very solid porter. Would I buy it? I mean, it kind of depends. I don't really go out of my way to buy things I've already tried, um, unless I'm going to like, uh, actually, I don't even know, like, unless I'm looking for like a specific beer that I'm like, oh yeah, I don't remember that was real good, or like, I'm going somewhere where I, I have to bring my own beer, which is like, never, like usually I go places and I bring beer to share, um, but I don't buy the same beer very often, with the exception of Even More Jesus, I have bought that many, 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 many times. It kind of just sits in my fridge for those nights or those days where I'm craving like a huge, chewy, decadent stout. Uh, Even More Jesus is definitely my go-to uh, stout. But other than that, man, I don't usually buy the same beer over and over. Uh, with the nerd exception of like large, barrel-aged stouts that people 
um, seek out for year after year, rusty nail. Um, Abyss, not so much, but I've been buying Abyss for a couple years. Um, Coco Be coconut, or not coconut, I keep saying coconut. Not coconut, just bee balm in general, uh, but then that's not a stout, that's a barley one, or a winter ale, actually. Um, there's a few more, I just can't remember them right now. I guess KBS is one of them, uh, CBS, uh, just, you know, all those names, like, beers like that I buy off, or I buy every time they release, just because, uh, it's kind of like Fast and Furious, you, like, after the third one i would say the third one you kind of start questioning why the hell you've been watching it and now they're at like movie eight and you're like yeah when that comes out i'm definitely gonna watch it but you don't know why it's kind of like that like i just i i'm doing it just because i've been doing it from the beginning um i feel like i'm rambling on too much man this is six point i'm gonna end it maybe i'll do a beer ball to talk about that but this is six points um four barrel dates four bean 11 percent abv porter brewed with cocoa husk Vanilla bean and coffee, I believe. I think those are the three. Uh, Coca Husk, coffee, and Madagascar vanilla uh, beans. Anyways, you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up. Comments, leave below. Subscribe for more videos. And as always, dream big dreams and believe all things are possible. Thanks for watching. Cheers.